so I did an oopsie guys. The microphone audio didn't record, I don't know why, but it's unfortunate and I only have two choices. I either do post commentary or I play through the entire game again because after I recorded this episode, I played more in-game days which are also recorded. So the save file for this is not existent anymore. Uh, so I decided to do a post commentary instead because if I play through my time at Sandrock, regardless of how much I love it, um, it's going to take a while and I've delayed uploading enough so I don't want any further delays so yeah we're gonna be doing post commentary instead which means that I stepped into you guys' shoes <laughs> for a little bit and I, I now understand how it feels to watch myself go through the gameplay and oh boy it's a roller coaster ride but anyways I still enjoyed it and I hope that you guys will have fun too as you watch this um, I appreciate you guys being here so we will be back to our regular format next week but for now please enjoy my time at Sandrock episode 17 of the early access playthrough all right so we're hopping out of bed and we're tired we did sleep uh, past 12 last episode so there we are and now it's time to pull out our secret weapon well not so secret weapon it, I ju it's just something that i didn't discover until last episode but boom gone are the dark eye circles it's amazing <laughs> where have you been all my life well i wasn't uh exploring enough i wasn't exploring the items enough but yeah, I hope that that's how, I wish that that's how concealers work in real life, especially for me because I do have dark eye circles, under eye circles, and uh, they're uh, a pain to hide, for sure. Concealers don't work that well. So yeah. Here we go. Ooh, we still have gifts from the people of Sandrock. Awesome. Dear Corvina, I found an old chair lying around, uh, but I polished up, so it's good as new. Here, now you can have a good sit while you're waiting for your oars to smelt. Our review. I appreciate the gesture for sure, even though it's just something that you found lying around. Very much appreciated. And look, we have this cute bow over here and the fish. So, we're gonna thank Nemo. Or captain, of course it's captain because it's a paw and it's a fish, so most likely, and it's a large sand carp too. Dear Corvina, here's a friend for you in case you get lonely while you build Jasmine. Oh my gosh, it's the cute teddy bear. It's the teddy bear that I've been wanting to have for a while. Oh, it's so cute, look at it! According to Jasmine, this bear has been to space, met Peach. Wait, 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 wait. I wanna, I wanna read that, so let's go back a little. Want it to be facing me while we're reading on it. Back. There you go. According to Jasmine, this bear has been to space, met Peach, has six PhDs, is competent in multiple styles of martial arts, and has saved the world over three million times. Looking into his black bead eyes, you feel a certain sense of security surround you. It does look very comforting. It's it's a good companion while you're working very hard on you know fixing the bridge in Sandrock, but also six PhD. Wow, and save the world three million times. Jasmine is very very creative. That girl. Well, she loves to read, so there's that. But okay, let's continue. Okay, we also got a blueprint for the tailoring machine. Oh, awesome. Okay did get the tailoring machine now we have the trusses uh blueprint right there okay we have one truss already in our inventory mm -hmm. bronze frame and uh copper screws which i didn't make i didn't make the copper screws what's wrong with you didi <laughs> Make it now. Wait. As usual, we're gonna do we're gonna split them into two so it's quicker for us for the queue to finish. 
So the trust is not going to be finished until a few more hours, but it's good. It's still very early, so it should be fine. We're just going to make the bronze frames now. So we can add them, as well as the steel bars. And then it's just going to be the copper screws waiting to be put on the trusses. Yeah. We have the wheat that Owen requested from us. Okay, this is definitely the wheat. Uh, <laughs> the wheat mission is definitely gonna gonna finish in a very uh, positive note. Just take note of that. <laughs> I have the power of clairvoyance. I have seen the future. <laughs> Oh yeah, we can customize the style of it. I should check that out. I didn't check it out. <laughs> I think I was... My, my head was in the clouds when that uh, prompt popped up. I should check that out though. Mm, yeah, I found a good way to use the teddy bear. Can you guys figure it out? Yes, we are gonna try to put it on the cabinet, and we can, so that is awesome. Our cabinet is filling up with good stuff. Look at it! Oh, it's so cute! It's so cute right there! Oh, so I wanted to uh, make a salted fish out of the large sand carp, uh, but it's apparently not working. And that's because it's a large sand carp and for the drying rack for the salted fish uh you need just a regular sand carp <laughs> so it's not gonna work yeah just the regular sand carp and the, the one that we got from the very sweet captain is a large sand carp a very special carp not just because it's large but because it's from the very cute captain so i'm kind of thinking i, I don't want to use it <laughs> you know it's a, it's a memento. Okay, so it's Friday, which means it's Fang Lab this time. We're gonna experiment which one, which one. There you go. The medicine wasn't good, your stomach is starting to hurt. Ew, stink! <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this now. Only temporary. This is your fault, Fang. This is your fault. Now you deal with <laughs> you deal with the smell. I'm gonna fart on you. <laughs> oh my god! How temporary is it, though? Oof, stinking up the place. How temporary is it? D, check it. Lasts for thirty seconds. Okay. <laughs> you did this to me, Fang. Now you have to deal with it. There you go, it's over. Okay, now we should go to the D. Go to the museum. <laughs> you have to, you have to fix the mount, the equatorial mount, and give it to Fang. She's not gonna remember it. <laughs> Typical D. I think I'm. Ca oh yeah, I'm Ritter. I'm so sorry, Juno. It, my heart breaks, but I need a faster mount. Confirm rent. You can only rent one horse at a time. You need to return the previous horse to rent the second one. So sorry, I'm gonna return it now. <laughs> it's been real, it's been fun. Juno, your service is appreciated, but I need... I need Cutlass. There you go. Alright, now we have all of the copper screws that we need. Ta-da! The trusses are finished. They're perfect. Now we're just gonna have to submit it to Heidi. Alright, so we're submitting our commissions or ordering food. I thought we're, we're here, here. Yeah, we're gonna submit to Owen. How's the job coming along? It's coming along, Owen. Those wheat, it's gonna you're it's gonna reach you for sure. Okay, so we All gave right, the sunshade commission to him. Now it's time to ask for recipes, and it's also time to play critters, apparently. Maybe. Are we going to? Hi, Grace. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. Okay, 
so we're gonna play it. What's my first move? I usually go with the fox or the elephant. There you go, elephant for the first round. Kitty! Got the kitty again. So I get two kitties. Which this makes, I think I'm talking about how this makes um, guessing what the opponents are going to, um, which cards they're gonna choose because the cards that will fill up the um, empty spaces are also random. So it's gonna be hard for you to kind of gauge which card you should use. But I think I'm winning. Or am I jinxing myself? Oh, two wolves and two cats. Oof. Which one? Which one? Cat? Wolf. Okay. <laughs> Victory! Yay! We won against Owen. Oof. For sure, I didn't want to play again, for sure. But I think I'm gonna play it anyways. It's a relationship point, uh, you know, extra, so it's fine. Yes, yes. Is it a draw or am I gonna win here? I think it's gonna be a draw. So many foxes here though. Draw, I knew. <laughs> Great minds think alike, eh? Sure, sure. Am I gonna go to Heidi or to Rian after? Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna choose Rian first. Oh, Justice has an exclamation point over his head. I wonder what that's for. Research center? No, go to the museum. You're gonna go to the museum, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I realized that I need to um, get the equatorial mount. Put it, put it together before I can give it to Chi. Ugh. The... That uh, museum... What should I call this? Presentation music. It's too loud though. It's really loud. They might need to work on the balancing. But also, as you can see here, the equatorial mount is finished. But we have both of the pieces still in my inventory. So that means to me that <laughs> the restoration thing took the, the, uh, the parts from my inventory box at home it didn't take the ones that i have on it <laughs> that's a good pardon an old orphan wait let's go back there pardon the, of an old world telescope it aligns something with better ask chi for de details okay a floral casual wristband desert defender waist bag Ooh, a bag meant to be worn around the waist despite its, in con its convenience bags like this were deeply unpopular in the old world it stands to reason though that they're due for a comeback anytime now. Is it something that I can put things in? I guess I'm gonna have to get it to know, though. It doesn't look like a bag to me, though. It looks like an equipment. It has a strikingly simple style for such a well-designed table. There are many different patterns and buttons. They all come together in a smorgasbord of what could only be described as the embrace of function and beauty. It's strangely, strangely entrancing old world technology at its peak. Alright. At least my brain's working when I have to read quickly. This purple and pink scarf is the perfect piece to finish off your funky exploration. Up, down, thank you, up. Up, down, thank you, up. Okay. Relic restoration machine with all its pieces of relic in hand. One can use this machine to restore an old world item to, to its original check. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I can. This is the same as the restoration thing that you get as a reward back in Portia. You can take it back home. A necklace made of amber, a complete four leaf clover, is wrapped in amber and strung by a hemp rope. It is said that wearing it on the body will bring good luck. Hmm. So you get this as a reward for donating 40 um, relics, complete re relics, but also I think it's something that's from the game center too, which it mentions as well. Okay, so Rian, our buddy, is in the game center waiting for us to give him our commission before, uh, before he actually goes to work. <laughs> there you go. And we are going to be taking this moment 
I believe. Yeah, so as you can see, the amber necklace, the lucky um, amber necklace is also here. Four leaf clover necklace. The fan is also a, a reward. Something that you can win. Okay. Adventure machine or the pilferers. It, it reminds me of the shooting thingy back in Porsche, though. So I'm excited. What's going on? What am I thinking here? Bless you, mother. I just heard my mom sneeze. Adventure game tutorial. So we're going to try this first. This is the adventure map you need to help the adventurer complete their journey. Choose your next location and see what happens. When the adventurer's HP hits zero, the game is over. When the adventurer encounters a monster, you must guess what your adventurer will do. Actions may include attack, defend, dizzy, heal, among others. Each time you guess, it costs 5 golds. Make your guess, then confirm. If you're right, you win more golds. Okay, so these are the actions that you need to guess, I believe. Here you go. Game start, please choose a route. So we're choosing a route here. Go. We got a gift, token, and jerky, and 10 goals. Okay, got a health. I was waiting for, yeah, I was wondering if I need to, <laughs> to vote for an action, but I don't really have to. I'm being prompted to choose a gift, a gift route. So we're choosing that one too. Boring? I'm boring, I know. <laughs> what did I get? 10 goals, okay. Now it's a fight with a monster. It's my turn, okay. Event Pioneer met with Slime of Eternal Sadness. Please, oh, Eternal Sadness. Can I give you a hug? Can I make you happy? Can I make you laugh at least? So you're not eternally sad? Which one, which one? I think we're gonna be safe here. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm... I think I'm wondering here what the uh, the actions are, especially for these two, the sword and the shield, since they look similar to these two, but they just have like extra accessories around them. So I think I wanted like a label for them, at least to know. Like I know that they said there's attack, heal, defend, and dizzy and stuff, but it would be good for them for for there to be an indicator as well so it helps the player decide which one they want to do so yeah we went safe and voted three for each so we're gonna win either way <laughs> 60 goals your def your pioneer defense temporary armor two okay Okay, I've been defeated. Yeah, it's it's all pure luck though, this game. Let's try the pill first, space pill first. As the game nears its end, frenzy mode activates. During this time, an extra score bonus will be given. Note, only one item can be grabbed at a time. Any other item will replace the previously held item. Holding the drop key will decide the speed and power of the launch. Okay, this is the drop key. This shows how many points you have. More points means higher rewards. First, adjust the position of the claw. Grab everything you can. Press the button to launch, launch your grabber. Release the button to recall. Okay. Uh, I think I said here how awkward the beginning is. I feel like this part should be first because it's giving you like the basic tutorial and then you know, let me know that there is a frenzy mode. Because I think it jumped. It, it skipped this this part. Yeah. This is what I'm saying here now. Only one item can be grabbed at a time. Any other item will replace the previously. Okay. I need to understand this more. Only one item. Okay. <laughs> See, I was still very confused as to how to. Yes, got it. 
So the white bag gives you 10. Okay. I think I, I'll... yeah. The green one gives you 20. The orange gives you 30, I think. There's frenzy time too. It's very quick. I like it though. I think I enjoyed this after I got the hang of it. Yeah. Play again. I think I'm gonna play again here. I remember wanting to know how much each bag costs. So that's gonna happen here in this next playthrough. <laughs> pink one. We've got the pink. Pink is 30. Okay. Green is 20. White is 10. We know that. Orange. Orange is 50. I think. Can I check orange? Let me check orange. Yeah, orange is 50. What? Orange is confusing to me because it seems like it's 20 and 10 and 50 at at one point. <laughs> it's so confusing. I'll check it later again. Hey, editing D over here. So I just want to quickly clarify that the orange bags do give you 50 points, but as per the tutorial, the note in the tutorial, you can only grab one item at a time and the previously grabbed item will be replaced by the last bag that the claw gets. So even if you initially get the orange bag, if on its way back to its socket, it grabs a white bag or a, a green bag, that's what you're gonna get. That's the point that you're gonna get. And this brings me to the point that I raised earlier when it comes to the formatting of the tutorial that, you know, the basic mechanic of the game should have come first before the frenzy. But also, right now, the note that says you can only grab one item at a time and previously grabbed item will be replaced by the last thing that you grabbed. Uh, that should have been separate from the frenzy paragraph because right now it's included in there and it made me think that it's just for the f that only applies for the frenzy not the entire game which is how it actually is in the game hey these look great i think it's going to be exactly what we need unfortunately things are going pretty slow on my end i'm afraid we won't be able to install your frames for a while if only there was a way to get this done faster. Aww, well, but I worked worry. so hard on the we'll trusses. In touch. Thanks again, and keep an eye on your mailbox for any updates. Alright. Oh, I'm sparring Mian, okay. Excited. Can't remember how she fights though. Oh, she has twin daggers too. Ooh, I should have chosen twin daggers. Next time, I'm gonna do that. So we can have like a twin dagger uh, off. Twin daggers off. <laughs> She's a lady after my own. Why does she have bronze blades though? And I only, I can only choose from stone stuff. Stone made stuff. That's not fair. I have stone blades and she has bronze blades. I won though. <laughs> it's not about the it's not about the equipment. It's how you use it. Yes. Okay, collect materials for the new bridge. So I chose to uh, contribute the steel bars that I have for the bridge instead of giving it to Jensen. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna take this too. Can I accept this? Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna be hitting two birds with one stone by giving the equatorial mount and Finally, the commission. This is it. Sixty-eight degree latitude range. Ultra fine axis controls. It's got to be accurate at least to seven arc seconds. And do you hear that? Exactly. Silence. But if you place your ear just so, 
you can hear the motor drive purring like a diminutive kitten. This equatorial mount looks like it could counterbalance a pretty sizable telescope, which confirms my postulation that the old world metropolis that Sandrock sits upon must have dealt with space-related industries. There must have been some old world observatories under the sand. Now that we have a mount, it only stands to reason that there are also telescopes somewhere in the ruins too. Maybe even rocket engines and starship... Now I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyhow, I implore you, find a telescope and restore it for science. I'll do it if you say please. <laughs> for sure. But I'm excited though. Like, if I can use the telescope to actually do like constellation, like stargazing, that would be really, really cool. And the rocket ships Lately, and the starships. I've been looking into finding a better oxidizer for my hypergolic... Oh, that's right. You have no idea what that is. Recently, I invented bread. How's that? Is this a mutually uplifting conversation? Uh-huh. Mutually uplifting, but also confusing because your words don't really match what's written here. If you can manage this task, I'll even let you use it sometimes when I'm not using it for research or non-research. Perhaps you can use it once a year on your birthday? How does that sound? We can hammer out the details later. I can make one for myself, you know, if I find all of the pieces. If as data well. from the Civil Corps surveys are reliable, I think there might be some telescope parts deep down the Gecko Station abandoned ruins. Not sure how they got into a transport hub. Maybe a few buildings got crunched together back when a calamity happened. Are the Civil Corps letting us use those nowadays? I'll have to check and get back to you. Await my further correspondence by. um. Keeping an eye on your mailbox. Excellent work, Builder. Thank you. That will be all. I think that dialogue there that didn't match what she actually said and the written dialogue, I think that was, um, <laughs> it's just a little bit of a wonky bug. Yeah, it was kind of, um, it's, it's a casual chatting for him, but the text is still talking about the, um, the telescope. I forgot to give the commission to him. I came back, okay. Cruisable. Ooh, a birthday chat. Birthday celebrations I find to be rather droll. The only thing I enjoy about mine is the symmetry of the number. One, one, one. Or if you prefer, 11th of spring. Okay. Yeah, so, as usual, you can have the conversation for birthdays for people that you have an associate relationship with so we got cheese birthday but yeah that's something that i appreciate though is you organically learn about their birthdays um, instead of having to find out about it after you randomly gift them on a random day just you found out because you gave them a gift but of course you cannot really give them gifts all the time in order to learn about them so organically finding it out by having a conversation with them when you're in a better relationship uh relationship ranking with them is good something that i really appreciate actually ah oh, look at that beautiful is heidi gonna go to the game center to unwind from all the busyness that she's experiencing right now. We also get the birthday conversation with Heidi. Oh, I never told you my birthday, did I? It's the 17th of summer, sandstorm season. It's nice and hot then too. Sometimes it can be hard to convince people to get out and celebrate when sand is flowing sideways and it's 45 degrees outside. <laughs> oh, that's sad, but we're all, ooh, I'm gonna go out even if there's a sandstorm, even if it's like 50 degrees outside. I'm gonna celebrate you. We're all gonna celebrate you. Our wonderful, wonderful architect and engineer. Okay. So we're taking care of most of our commissions. Now I want to do water, okay. Yeah, 
because I want to go to the that one. Amount of dew needed to make water decreased by two. Yeah, that's that will be amazing actually. So we're going with the water thingy for now. Let's change the monotony of our lives and go sand fishing. <laughs> I haven't been sand fishing recently. Please send up Buddha. Please pop up. Ugh, still haven't gotten any luck with the Sandakuda, by the way. I just caught one. Can't I? Couldn't I have caught like all three of them? <laughs> that would have been fun. Since no Sandakuda wants to make its presence known, then let's just catch the sand carp. Quit sand fishing? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's almost almost 12. Am I gonna sleep early or no? Am I gonna make it to the 12 midnight mark? <laughs> Hurry! Hurry, Cutlass! Yeah, I, I felt like the day was still going quick even though I've already I already have the timer at like 0.5. Unsora finished her commission. Fantastic. Fantastic. No! Blue Moon Saloon part-time work is about to expire. <laughs> it expired. No. <laughs> oh my heart. Oh. I've experienced it. I went through it. But seeing that again, seeing that I failed that mission, and I can't go back. I can't go back. Ooh, there's a sandstorm. I can't go back to it because it's been a few days. It's been six days, I believe. So I don't have the save file anymore. <laughs> oh, my heart. It hurts so much. It hurts because... I failed Owen, but also, you know, I have a perfect streak going. From Chi, Builder, I have something in mind that will help Heidi complete her undertaking, but to finish the design, I need to study a power core from the old world robots. You can find them in the Bar Paradise Lost Ru Hazardous Ruins. Thus, that is your task. Bring me the largest one you can find. I'd send the Civil Core. But they wouldn't know a power stone from a stapler. BSS, the robots may try to kill you. Well, thank you. Thank you for the heads up. <laughs> also, don't undermine the civil corps. They good. Wait, they're good. Dear chicken liver. Hey, dummy, guess what? I'm the most evilest killer there is. And I just stole your builder license. Guess now you'll have nothing better to do but to spend more time with your friends, huh? Don't even think about trying to hunt me down. I'll smash you and your stupid goggles and then show you why everybody is afeard. Afeard of me. Killer E, criminal mastermind. Day 6, autumn year 1. Ooh. We have a... We have a case in our hands. A builder who wears goggles? This must be for Mian. I do wear goggles too, though. License for Rian's submission start. Okay, from Civil Corps... For Vina, here's the stuff you commissioned right on time. See for yourself. 12 raw animal skin from the Civil Corps. Thank you, Unsor. Oh my gosh. The sand hat in this hairstyle looks amazing. I actually prefer that sand hat too. Yeah, my builder's license is still here. So it is me on. <laughs> I do wear goggles though. The hat that I have has has goggles on them. Do we get to head to Paradise Lost Ruins? Of course we're gonna head to Paradise Lost Ruins. Are we gonna have access to it? I'm not sure. <laughs> of course we are. It's a, it's a story thing. Okay, we're getting the rubber shell and... Grace wants a soup pot. And she wants five of them. This better help you uh, cook better, Grace. Am I gonna get it? Uh, I'm gonna decide after I check if I have the materials for it. And the machine. But yeah, the the failure of the mission for Owen really hurts. <laughs> because it hurts my relationship with him and it also hurts my 
almost perfect streak of missions, you know. But that's that. It happens. We cannot really do anything about it. You know, it's a learning curve. <laughs> you just have to remember to uh, plant the things, the the seeds that were given to, that people give me for missions immediately, because they, there's no, there's not much headroom. The mission ends at the time that the plant is ready for harvest, so no headroom there. Which is good. I mean, it's a mission and you need to be mindful of it. Okay, we're taking the soup pot. Do I have it smelting at the moment? <laughs> I don't remember if I put it on queue. Watch me forget to put it on queue. Yep, yeah, I don't have it on queue. <laughs> D, please remember to put the thing on queue first. You have to. Please remember the soup pot. The soup pot? No! <laughs> Do I need materials for it? That's why I'm going here. Not sure. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> See, I have goggles. Oops, that's a that's a fall. That's a high fall. Okay, so I'm making the tailoring machine because I think I want to make the uh, the sand here. Wait, what am I adding? Why am I adding to it? I need I need the the space for the soup pot. Do you remember? Past? Do you remember it, please? Remember that you need the soup pot. You have a commission. No, I didn't remember still. No! Okay, we have the tailoring machine done and done. Yeah, so I want to make the sand gear. I want to see what the different. <laughs> Can you see it? There we go. The wheat is done. Oh, and the the wheat i can harvest it can we go back <laughs> can i still have access to that mission okay relatively easy to make the sand gear in comparison to the sand hat i prefer the the sand hat though to the sand gear because it looks like jeans to me <laughs> Not to knock on, on the designer of this, but it's just because it has pockets on the back, two pockets, you know. Maybe it's something that's been repurposed, you know, we're recycling. It's encouraged in sand rock, so of course. But still, personally, for my tastes, I like the sand hat better. Twine. Jute? I need jute. Yes. I do have a friend named Jute at one point. Desert Defender Goggles. Ooh, I can make all of these things. Explorer Vest? Hmm. Cool. No use for you guys now. <laughs> now now you grow. Now you're ready for harvest. <laughs> of course, it's my fault though. It's not... It's not the... Um, it's not the plant's fault. Look on the bright side though, I have a lot of wheat and also the soil has a lot of nutrients now on it. Still don't have the soup pot on cue, by the way. <laughs> I think now I remember. Do I? If I don't remember, that's gonna be ridiculous. I just saw- I just looked at my- yeah. Go! Make it! <laughs> Finally! There you go. So we're gonna plant new stuff. I did forget that I said um, when I planted the rose the rose and the um, rhino thorn cactus, I did say that I was going to plant 
two of each. Uh, and I didn't do that. <laughs> so now we're doing it. Planting a cactus as well. And the rose. The pomato seeds, okay. I have a lot of rose, uh, mountain rose seeds. This feels futile, this activity that I'm doing right now. <laughs> Cleaning up the sand during a sandstorm, but it's important because you can see already the piles of sand collecting in the machines and it's affecting the efficiency. It's gonna be efficient, efficient and not efficient, so we need to keep it clean. Dust free, dust tent. Jesus, what's going on with you? Cutlass, did you drink too much coffee? Come here. <laughs> My boy. Yeah. I'm gonna... Yeah, Cutlass is a, a male for me. Okay, done with Argo's commission. All that's left is to head to Paradise Lost. Not sure if that's what I'm gonna do though. Hi Nemo, are you gonna follow us? Go inside, BB. It's not safe. Oh my god, it's following us. No, don't follow us. Go inside. Okay, so now we're gonna eat. Uh, I saw Nemo there. Thank god Nemo's not getting tossed around in the, in the sand though. Okay. Oh, okay, so leveling up. Uh, recharges your HP to full. Um, I was worried at one point uh, because um, I have half health, right? I was worried during this playthrough when I saw that I, oh my god, I have half health and I plan to go to Paradise Lost. Uh, uh, but it's gonna be a little hard to be there with half a health, but it actually recharged. That's cool. It didn't recharge my stamina though, but I think it added two points to it. One sec. Let me check. Yeah, from 396 to 398. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Just wanted to check because I saw that my stamina, my health is full. Wait, Owen, I'm so sorry, the mission. I'm Hello. so sorry, please With forgive all the me. the wind and sand outside, it inconveniences everyone. The blue moon will still hold stories from time to time, though. <laughs> Gotta give the people some respite, you know. You're always welcome through these doors. Aw, thank you. Thank you, you're not mad at me for skipping the mission. It's not my fault. I'm so sorry. Well, it is my fault. I forgot to plant the thing. We need accountability here, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> Hello. Oh wait. Oh, I'm gonna gift him. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna try to bribe him, to make him, to make him like me, to make him forgive me. Okay, I reckon I can do something pretty nice with these things. Right, it's just relationship next. plus one. Hey there. Okay. I'm doing everything for Owen to forgive me. <laughs> Do holding all the stops, You're playing with him, gifting him. Did I even decide to lose just so he can be happy? Well, it. If I win, I have better relationship points than losing, though. Ooh, oof! Are we gonna get four, 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 four out of four? Please. <sighs> I'll take my breath. Ugh. Oh, almost. Well, I was great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Plus five to our relationship. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be making it up to Owen. Okay, so license for ransom. Let's talk to Mian. Okay, because I feel bad for our friend. Or no, or not. <laughs> okay. We're not gonna go. We don't feel bad for a friend. Friend or go to Paradise Lost for the commission. You know, the weighing scale over there. Which weighs more? Which is more important? 
Having access to Paradise Lost Ruins, apparently. Hey there. Gotta get into these ruins, huh? Well, shoot. I really want to let you slip on by. But, well, you remember what happened last time we bent the rules a little. But I was able... I... I... I pulled through, though. You know, I was able to carry myself. It's fine. Now I see where you're coming from. I can see your frustrations. The door's singular purpose is to provide passage to and from certain locations. And when the door is blocked, the one thing it's meant to do, well, it ain't really being manifested. Of course it's gonna be me, yeah. Uh, the door was broken. The overachiever. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. It's fixed. Good as new. <gasps> you just disrupted protocol. What's the plan, Sheriff? <sighs> Huh? What did I do wrong? Uh, I saw nothing. Oh, how about that? The door fixed itself. See? Bureaucratic stuff hey, in Bill, the way. I got a real important. They just stop things from getting done. You. Uh, if you got time for it. I've got time. Do you have time? Because you have your hammer out. <laughs> well, Feel like you want to. You okay, there you go. Me? That means you must have time. <clears throat> Basically, all I need is an official Civil Corps deputy cap for the upcoming promotion ceremony I'm organizing. Mm. Oh, and you should join the ceremony too. Being all that's transpired recently, it seemed only right to make you builders honorary members of the Civil Corps, which means you may very well be making your own deputy cap. I'm a Civil Corps member? That's right. Hooray. The next deputy of Sand Rock might even be you. Hey, don't look so surprised, partner. Even new members of the Corps can be considered for the position. And you really showed that Giggler boss guy who's... boss. <laughs> well, thank anyway, you for considering me. I just me. wanted to commission a deputy cap for the ceremony. Whoever gets promoted gets the cap. So, what do you say? All right. Hats off to you, partner. Uh, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Hats off Here's to you. Here's a recipe for making it at your work table. Come drop it off when it's made. What's that, friend? You want to get into the Paradise Lost Hazardous Ruins? Didn't we oh, go through yeah. this before? I see where you're coming from. A lot of good relics and whatnot in there, huh? Well, here's how it works. I head back to HQ, fill out a few application forms, drop them off at City Hall, lay on the Justice Charm real thick to make sure they get looked at in a timely fashion. <laughs> you know how that is. Well, it seems your charm doesn't work because it's taking a while. Well, you d you haven't done it yet. <laughs> okay. Then, and Please only do then, it. Can I post a commission on the commission board after a builder, perhaps even yourself, accepts it and fixes the door? Then maybe I can see reopening the hazardous ruins. But you know, I just got too much on my plate as it is, so I couldn't really tell you when I'm going to have time to get around to that. These kind of bureaucratic complications are really a small price to pay, though. Exactly. Keep in the order of things. From where I'm standing, hope you understand. Fine. Now, take her easy, builder. I think I think this was something that this is a conversation that happens when you try to enter the Paradise Lost Ruins and you don't have the uh, the mission yet from Chi. So yeah. Well, now we can go in. Thank you, Mia. Ever the overachiever. <sighs> Am I gonna get it? I'm gonna get it back. No, 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 no. Not now. Not now. <laughs> oh my gosh. My HP. Don't fall. Don't fall. <gasps> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is so stressful. No, I can go in without, without jumping off the horse. What am I doing? Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I haven't even made it inside. Enter Paradise Walk. Re recommended level 15 to 18. I'm already over leveled. There you go. Here we are. You can't run out of stamina in this area, so I don't need my stamina here. Fluorite. You can't really skimp out on the junk pile here and the boxes because they do have things that you can use for crafting like fluoride, quartz, those types of things. It does feel tedious but at the same time it's 
you know, it's worth it to do so. I feel bad for all of the robots here. Like, look at them. I feel bad. Iron ore! Ooh! Oh yeah, I didn't get iron ore from here, I forgot. <laughs> well, this is why this playthrough is really long, though. I got a buff here. I don't know what it is. It's a shame that I didn't notice it at the time, so I could have checked it. It's really worth it to break through or dig through these ones because I believe just like in the breach hazardous ruins, um, once I come back here for like a normal run through to just collect items uh, or resources, these mounds will not be existing. So being thorough is worth it, even though it's going to take a while for you to get through the entire level. Throwing bomb. Mm, interesting. Yeah. That would be interesting to use. It would be great if we can get graphite too. From oh, we got medicine bottles. Mm. Seems like a good gift option for Fang. Junk pile, junk pile. All the junk piles. Ooh, oh yeah, it, we do get graphite, but they're from the junk piles, not from the uh, the mounds of um, minerals or dirt. That's good. Any amount of graphite at this stage is welcome. Missing orange mall key. So we saw it there. Ooh, almost fell. But it's there, the orange mall key. If this is me in real life, I would have fallen already because I do get uh, scared of heights very easily. Eee! I'm not playing, but I'm still nervous. <laughs> still get nervous. There you go. Oh, I could have passed through. I could have gone left and I could have gotten it quicker. But it's fine. Come on, show your head. Show your face. Sweeper. Oh god. Eee. Is that... The disgruntled secretary has such a, a rage to kind of uh, feel your presence. <laughs> I was so far from it. Trotter, later. <laughs> Let me deal with the secretary. At least the sweeper is just minding its own business. It's like letting me fight the others before I, before I face him. Hey. Holler, holler! <laughs> Not yet, anyways. Ah, oh, the poor trotter! I just saw it fly off. I'm so sorry. I feel bad fighting them, especially the damaged ones, just because, you know, they try to fight for themselves, but they're really... You know, they can't really do much at their state. I feel bad. Save the trotter! Oh my god. Eat! Don't eat! Yellow mall key from there. Okay. I like how they ha they hit different mall keys in different places. It's not just the same type of area. I mean, I'm not saying that they're you know, they hide it in the same place. I mean, the same type of place. You know, like some of them are haphazardly just on a desk, some of them are near a fire drum, some of them are inside a an empty holler, that sort of thing. I appreciate that. Oh my god, damage sweeper. Oh no, oh my gosh, they're on top of each other. They're working together. Good effort, guys. Good effort. I salute you for your efforts. Hey. 
they want the hammer, they don't want to be broken by my measly pick hammer, they want the hammer. The motivational hammer. I need to motivate them to break. <laughs> That's why I need the motivational hammer. Poor baby. So sorry. My gosh, I took so much damage. I only have 889 HP. Oh, health. Thank you. Open chest. Water, yes! Oops. Who spotted me? Is it the secretary? I knew it. I knew <laughs> The disagreeable secretary. You're so sensitive. So vigilant. Don't notice me, holler. I saw the holler over there. Just keep walking. <laughs> keep walking. Shoot that booty, yes. Thank you, she just shot my booty. Nobody shoots my booty. My mantle booty. It's not fighting. It's not fi oh, okay. Because <laughs> it was programmed to be walking. <laughs> Oh my god. We are the guardians of the door. You shall not pass. Oh my gosh, it's gonna explode! Okay, there we go. It's not really gonna explode. It's like it's gonna put up an energy barrier. Missing purple mole key. Oh, there. So you need to get all of them. Oh my gosh, I'm burning myself. <laughs> I just I just stuck beside the drum, the burning drum. This is one of those times where I should have used my pistol, really. Cause my god, being double teamed by these two. Oh my gosh, ouch. Jesus Christ. Ow. Ow. No, don't join. Trotter, no, no, no. Stop. Oh my god, ouch. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. Okay. Got it. Okay, we got the purple... Mulkey. <laughs> okay, we got the purple Mulkey. Snyder. That's the name of the company? Or is it Paradise Lost Day? Maybe this is the name of a tele te uh, telecoms or uh, electronic shop. Snyder. Gotta get the... I didn't get uh, an enemy. Are they gonna come out after I faced it? No. After I was thinking that maybe they'll do an ambush. Like after I got the ball key, <laughs> they'll uh, they'll pop up. But no. Okay, I'm prepping. I'm prepping for the bomb for the boss. Ooh, it's a red key. Ominous. You know what this means, guys. It's boss time! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. That surprised me. Two of them. Hello, haulers. Hello, haulers. Just holler at me. Okay. No, no bosses here. I thought there was gonna be a boss. It's this blessing pendant, which I already have one. Goals? Wolf tooth pendant. Oh, interesting. Opal, yes! Yes, get an opal. So, that was a red herring. I thought the boss is gonna be in that uh, area where you use the red mole key, but it has to be over here. I didn't see that uh, health thingy, or I think I did, but I just didn't pay attention to it because I have quite a lot of health. Uh, I should be fine, she said, and then she died. <laughs> 
just checking if we can follow through things. No, they're invisible walls. It's Here boss. we go, it's the boss. Control cat. Okay. Level 17 and I'm level 21. Easy peasy. How do we do this? It's a huge kitty. It's the kitty. Destroy console A. Oh my gosh. It's almost there. Roll back. This is not a good tactic. Ouch. <laughs> okay, okay. Just do it. Just do it. Go. Okay. If I just keep myself at the very, very far corner, then I should be fine. Now it's stopped. Kitty stopped. Okay. No? It's not taking- the control panel is not taking damage. I see a bar over there. And we need to destroy this. There you go. Destroy that one. What happened? It did something. Did something. Console... Console A. Come on. You can do it. Just one more, one more hit. Just go- No! <laughs> I'm almost there. Okay, go back. Yes, okay. Done. This is a very easy boss though. Just have to destroy the consoles. Not really much there. Come on, almost there. Just one more hit. Yes! Oh my god. Almost. It almost got me. Simple circuits got simple circuits from that. And we're done. Strange power core. This must be the power core cheese talking about. Well done. Well done, Corbina. Clap, clap. Thing there that's where we came from so i think we should be good and exit right so we got the power core i will be oops that doesn't sound good oh my god right 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 quickly what are you doing go 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 <laughs> hurry <laughs> oh my god i think it's fun though it's nice that they um, arranged for enemies um, some items in the lower I think it's cool that they arranged for enemies uh, in the area that you have to pass through to get to the ruins. Adds to the fun of it, basically. Jesus, this hypersleep chamber is tanky. Well, I think I need uh, an iron pick hammer for it. It's gonna make things easy. Wait, I have iron. I have steel bars. I should be able to upgrade my pick hammer and axe. Why did I think of that? I should do that. <laughs> it's not gonna happen in the next few episodes because those are recorded already. This is just the one that didn't have audio. So yeah, in the next couple of episodes we'll still have the bronze pick hammer and the axe. Um, I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to upgrade them in the next time I play. Granted that um I should have money to buy the sharpening stones in. Well, there it is. This looks to be an R47 condensed crystalline power core ultra with an iron flux capacitor. I've read about them but to actually be holding one. <laughs> I love, I love the voice acting there. I know, right? I was only expecting R30s down there, but to get an actual R47 Ultra, it was a prototype core that was a downsized version of the R57 core used in standalone all source AIs. Yep, and definitely, like definitely understood that. About. Just know that I'll be throwing my previous plans into the trash and. <laughs> And they all thought I was mad coming here. You can go now. I'll get back to you. 
Alright. You're welcome. Womet. Womet. Well met. That's actually what he's saying. I've been wondering. I'm like, what is he saying? It's well met. I just learned it from another game <laughs> that a friend was playing. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's what G is saying. Okay, so we requested for the research of the apprentice cooking apparatus. Apprentice apparatus. Oh yeah, Mion, talk to Mion, our disgruntled friend. Oh, it's just you. Sorry, you scared me. I am a bit on edge. Today when I woke up, I discovered someone stole my builder's license. I can't take any commissions without it. And it'll take a while to apply for a replacement. Huh? What did you say? Criminal mastermind? Let me see that letter. Chicken liver? Stupid goggles? My goggles aren't stupid. They're in style. And some criminal mastermind? They couldn't even get the letter to the right person. This makes things worse than I thought. The civil corpse should hear about this right away. Hey, wait a sec. You're a key witness in this case. Can you help me out and gather some evidence? Mm, sure. I feel like I can count on you. Hmm, what can we do? What can we do? Uh, I feel like I can't even think straight without my license. My license must have been stolen this morning. I still had it last night. Why don't you check with people who wake up really early? Maybe someone saw something. I'll go talk with the civil court. Okay, so we need to do the deputy cap. They don't have... these things don't have uh, deadlines, yeah. We don't have anything that has deadlines. I think as... except for the... Uh, oh, I want the froggy explorer vest, yeah, sure. Except for the moonlighter, yeah, moonlighter has a deadline. Other than that, the others don't have it. So I can take my time with them. Oh, the soup pot still taking a while. This is because I forgot to do it first before anything else. I really did forget to use the throwing bomb, huh? <laughs> I said I was going to use it. I forgot. I didn't use it on the kitty. The robot kitty. Not the kitty kitty. Okay, so wolf tooth pendant, a unique peculiar image of wilderness. Made of natural materials, critical damage 5 plus 5%. What do I have in my, um, equipped on me? My handmade scarf. Ooh, yeah. It's just plus 5% though. But I feel like I'm gonna feel naked without the scarf. <laughs> it's just part of my, uh, identity at this point. Of course, if there's something better, we're gonna, um, change it. For sure. Okay, so now we're just um, filling up our copper inventory. Not enough stamina? Okay. Yeah, I just needed the copper there for sure. Because I want to make extra storage because I don't have enough with so many things. Wait, did the right opinion uploaded a new video? <gasps> I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. No, wait. Let's finish this video first. Make the horse go home. Check on the soup pot. That's still not finished. Collect the bronze bars. Scroll aimlessly down the refiner queue. Collect items from the crafting stations. Craft bronze bars. Or no, maybe not. Adjust water levels. Make water. All of the water. Make wooden words. Make a marble slab. Craft two copper pipes. Make a bronze rivet or a rubber ring for whatever we can use that for. Copper screw, no, rivet, bronze rivets, crafting. Soup pot, done. Now bronze bars on queue. Recycle more iron scrap. Make another storage box. Make another storage box. Place the storage box. And another storage box. Rename storage box. Sort everything out. Dust the assembly station off. So much dust in the assembly station. Dust my work table. And holy dust the duplicator. There's no way I can get two from that. <laughs> and now. 
Now time to go to bed.